What are you doing out here, Jerry? More orders? Yep. I told the chief I could handle it alone, but he said you should be in on it. Tony Marsh gang entered state near Tolar, working vicinity Coyote Pass. Bring him in, Mitchell. Oh, just like that. Bring him in. I have the darndest luck. No sooner I get a leave of absence, some outfit of bandits bust loose. You sure do. That reminds me of the time when I was down in Texas. I rounded up a gang of rustlers. Hey, it, had... Jerry. Tell it to me some other time. Let's go. Which way do we go, Tom? She said Coyote Pass. Well, let's look it over. That'll do, old timer. Stand right where you are. No use coming back. You got it all the first time. What's going on here? Ain't you bandits? We're officers. Well, sure. I'm Jerry McLean. I'm the fella that captured Go it, Jerry. The... Stick up. Not five minutes ago. I had just sold my stock. I had nearly a thousand dollars. How many of them? Three. One of them lay across the road, and when I stopped to help Describe him... Describe them. Men and horses. The leader was about your size with a green shirt, a brown velour hat. Now, he'd look like you if he had a shave. Hmm. One of those bronks has a split frog on the off hind foot. All right, stranger. With a break of luck, we'll get that water of yours. Oh, thank you, officers. I sure need it. Which way did they go? They went off that way. Don't worry, we'll get him. I guess this is a safe enough place to split the roll. Listen, men. I got a letter from my dad. So what? I'm going home after this job. You're gonna go straight, huh? Yep. My dad and sis don't know I took to the road. The old man writes, he needs help. Something wrong with the neighbors. Still with him, Jerry. Good. But go easy now and be ready for trouble. There's gold in that place, and nobody knows where it is but me. Huh. Well, you can have it. Why dig it out of the ground when it's so easy to go out and pick it out of folks' pockets? We could dig a week and not get half of what we just took. Someone coming. We get separated, we meet a giant rock. There's our game, Jerry.
Hey, Tom! It's no use. It's no use. I'm finished. Don't. Don't. Don't let my folks know about this. Don't. Don't let them know I was mixed up with crooks, will you? Don't let them know. Who are your folks? The Grangers. The Grangers. Our Peckles. Our Peckles. Look, Tom, looks just like you. You could be mistaken for his twin brother. Hmm. He does look kind of like me. Kind of like you? Poor fella. See if he's got anything to identify him. This may help. Them lawhounds got Jack. Maybe. We better wait here, just in case he gave them the slip. Yeah, they can't sneak up on us up here. We can see them coming a mile away. Maybe if I look so much like this hombre, I can walk up on his pals. Take your shirt off. Man coming. Jack, all right. What's he hunting the trail for? He knew we'd come up here. Maybe he's lost his bearings. I. Up here! We got to had you when your bronc stumbled. Yeah. You notice you didn't wait to see if I was taken. It's every man for himself in this game. You'd have got caught. No need of all of us going to the jug. Sounds reasonable. But you're all going now. Up with them. I'll quit your kidding, Jack. We got to be on our way. If you've sold that to the law, Jack Granger. Jack Granger is dead. I am Tom Wade of the Protective. Get aboard that horse. Now get on that horse. Yes, sir. Hi, boss. Any luck? Lance has been over to propose holy matrimony to Sheila Granger. It looks as if she said no. No. 
positively no. So, Sheila wouldn't have you, eh? Well, I don't know as I'd blame her. Well, anyway, I think my plan's better. Buy them off and get rid of them. Then we'd better act quick. Sheila's expecting her brother Jack home. Jack coming home, eh? And he knows about the gold. There's the deed. Take the boys with you. You'll need them as witnesses. Step lively. You want to close this deal before Jack Granger arrives. All right, Ma. Must have been eight or ten of them bandits. Then Tom goes spraddling off after two of them and leaves me with the rest. Well, wait a minute. You only brought in one. What became of the others? Well, sir, that fella I brought in, I knocked over at a hundred yards. And when the rest of them saw what a dead shot I was, <laughs> they hightated over the hill. And doggone, I find the gun empty and I can't reload. Here's the rest of the offer, Chief. That's funny. I could have sworn there was more of them. Well, he wouldn't have got us if he hadn't have pawned himself off as Granger. Granger? Hey, Jerry, lock these gents up. I'll talk to them later. Yes, sir. Come Sit on. Sit down, Tom. What do you make of that? You and Jerry better handle this, Tommy. I'll go out there as a friend of Jack Ranger's. Next day, Jerry comes along as a law. But listen, Watson. Somebody's got to tell Granger that his son isn't coming back. I guess that's up to you, Tom. But you work that out between you. OK, Chief. We'll be leaving within an hour. Good. The long words and listen to my tale. I'll tell you my troubles and let you some fail. I'm a tie, I am a PIA, I'm a tie, I am a PIA. On a ten dollar horse and a forty dollar saddle, going to punch in Texas cattle. Come a tie, I am a PIA. Say you're terrible. As a singer, I guess I'm not so good. Now, me, I got a voice. Say, one time when I was to a show... Oh, down in... you told me that one four times, and different each time. Oh, let's go. So I went to the boss to draw my roll. Mm -hmm. and... Quit worrying, Dad. I feel sure we'll hear from Jack today. That's what we've been saying for months. And we haven't heard from him in over two years. In the meantime, our cattle are disappearing. The Holcombs, they... Here comes someone. Come on inside, Granger. I got a proposition to make. I don't you. care to hear it. I don't want to hear from you or from any of your tribe. You've been having plenty of trouble with your stock lately, I hear. You know darn well I have. You know who's responsible for trouble. Dad. Now, what do you want, Lance? Ma wants to buy your place. It's not for sale. Five thousand dollars. Spot cash. That's enough money to buy a better ranch and relieve you of all this trouble. No. We've been waiting to hear from my son, Jack. I guess we can hold on a little longer. You heard Dad's answer. Keep your money. I don't know, Sheila. 
Maybe that's an easy way out. Well, Lance, I... Wait, Dad. I want to tell you something. I haven't told you before, Dad, but Jack thought there was gold in Yellow Horse Canyon. I thought so, too, once, but I've searched every foot of it. Don't tell, Dad. I can't fight any longer. We'd better take what we can get. All right, Holcomb, you win. Let's put your names on this, boys, and make it plumb legal. I'll expect you to clear out of here in three days, Granger. Undercover. If Granger leaves the place before dark, let me know. I got you. Don't take it that way, honey. Why, they'd have taken the ranch, and we wouldn't even have this. They don't intend you to have it, Dad. They mean to come back and get it. Well, they won't come until tonight, and I'm heading for town and the bank right now. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, Dad, and be careful. Jack! How about are you hurt, stranger? Oh, Jack, don't you know me? I'm your dad. You're John Granger, but I'm... Uh, ah. Ooh. Ow. Let me take a look at that wound. Ooh. did this? I didn't get a look at him, but you ought to know, Jack. If it wasn't Lance Holcomb, it was one of his men. I wish you'd come a day sooner, Jack. I've sold the ranch, but now I've got nothing to show for it. That's all right. We'll get the ranch back. There's something I've got to tell you. Uh, your son... Now, don't say anything about that now. You may have been a little wild, but now you've come home to stay. You have come home to stay, ain't you, Jack? Yes, Dad. At any rate, until we get our ranch back.
Paul Rose like a dog going to Opry singer. Stranger to me. He's been hanging around here all day like he's waiting for somebody. Uh, yippee, yippee, yippee. Woke up one morning on the old silver trail. Rope in my hand. Got a cow by the tail from a tie. Yippee, 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 from a tie. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Old Ben Bolt was a blank good boss, but he went to see the girls on a sore back walk. business. I'm well, not very good. You know, I'm plumb inquisitive. You know, one time down in Laramie, I got so curious that I tried to find out how much money was in the bank. Then the sheriff came along with his posse. You never found out about the money? No. Doggone it, I had bad luck. Among the seven fellas I killed, was the only man in town that knew the combination. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, let's have that trail song again, will you? Did you get it? What's that? Did you let that old man get the drop on you? I dropped Granger, all right. It was his son Jack that creased me. Jack Granger, eh? And he did come home. Oh, Dad, you're hurt. What's happened? Don't mind me, honey. Look who I've brought home. But I'm, uh... Yeah, but I'm... No, wait, wait. No, no, but I'm, uh, uh, Let me explain. Uh, oh, 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 Dad. Oh. Who did this? Whoever did has got the mark of one of my bullets on him. I'll look for him tomorrow. Let's take a look at your wound, Dad. And this family's going to hold a council of war. Ranger ever since he left here two years ago. The last time I heard of him before today, he was a member of the Tony Marsh gang. That makes him fair game for any gent that wants to win a reward. All right, boys. Moss says there's no closed season on bandits and rustlers. Yes, Ma. Be careful. You know your butt's that stick-up job, and mistakes like that will get you a hemp necktie. Don't worry. Looks 
better than it did when you fixed it this afternoon, Jack. <laughs> Coming along fine, Dad. You know, somebody wants this ranch mighty badly. It's not worth the price Holcomb paid, even if he's not the man that robbed you. The question is, what are they after? Why, Jack, you ought to know what they want. Remember what you said to me when you went away? You said I was to keep it a secret. Sure, uh, but you can tell it now. Well, after Jack found traces of gold in Yellow Horse Canyon, he went out to raise money to work it. <laughs> you were wrong there, Jack. There's no gold on this place. Now, if the Holcombs expect to find gold... But, Dad, Jack knows it's there, don't you, Jack? He can tell you the very spot. I guess I can find it again when the time comes. I guess we'd better turn in. Tomorrow's going to be a very busy day. So I see. Uh, you should be in bed. Oh, sit down. I've got to talk to you. It's about Lance. Uh, who, who? Lance Holcomb. Oh, oh Lance. Yeah, Lance. Uh, he wants me to marry him. Uh, uh, may I have a drink? Oh, sure. I forgot. I'm sorry. your old weakness, Jack, but I forgot to bring it in. Now, now about this Lance Holcomb that wants to marry you. Um, do you love him? No, I despise him. But I thought maybe if I married him, it would stop all this fighting. Now, throwing yourself to the wolves won't settle anything. I'll, uh, I'll look Lance over tomorrow. Now, now you better go to bed. All right, Jack, but first we'll have our song. You remember the old trail song? Why, Jack, you've forgotten it. I'll have to teach you all over again. Yeah, I haven't been doing much singing lately. Well, there's no time like the present to learn. Boys, listen to my tale, and I'll tell you all my troubles on the old jingle trail. Come a tie, yippee, 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 So I went to the boss for to draw my roll. He figured me out nine dollars in the hole. Come a tie, I yippee, 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 I yay. Come a tie, I yippee. Stay there. Cover that up, Dad. 
they'll see it. Come on, Jack. Let's go get them. It's no use. They'll be a mile away before we're saddled. Let's go inside. We know where to find them when we want them. They've got the deed. They've got the money. What more do they want? They want me. What? The deed isn't so good while there's a witness to the holdup alive. That's right. You, John Granger? Mighty pretty scenery you have around here, Mr. Granger. What do you want? Who are you? Jerry McLean, ma'am, at your service. Terror of bandits and bad men, and chief thief catcher of the Cattlemen's Association. You wrote you needed help. Well, this ain't a one-man job. Oh. Listen, Pop. When there's trouble in this state, the governor's only got one problem. That's rather to call out the militia or send for Jerry McLean. <laughs> we may not need you now, Mr. McLean. You see, my brother Jack came home yesterday. He what? Well, uh, 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 well, where is he now? Well, he rode over to the Holcomb Ranch. Come into the house and I'll explain. All right, old timer, let's look him over. Of course, we've got no proof it was the Holcombs, but I'll bet a plug nickel that Jack finds out. A chump? Why didn't he wait until I got here? He's not a chump. And how could he know you were coming? That's right. He couldn't. Not unless the governor sent you a wire. <laughs> uh, he must have overlooked it. Where is this Holcomb place? The first ranch on your left is your ride south. I better give Jack a hand. Somebody at the door. Jack Granger. Well, we uh, we heard you were home. Well, it's mighty neighborly of you to call. Uh, you remember Lance? Sure, I know him. What happened to your hand, Lance? A horse kicked me. You better do something about that bad horse, Lance. Or you won't have a whole man left on the place. We intend to do something about it, Jack. Just what are you doing here? To tell you, since you got your money back, you'd better hand over that deed. I heard 
figured you'd gone the stick-up game, Jack. Put down that gun, Grandma. I can shoot the eye out of a net at 40 yards. What's going on around here? I'm the law. I'm glad you came, officer. That man there is Jack Ranger, member of the Tony Marsh gang. He stuck up the place to get this deed that his father had signed. Well, what have you got to say? She's right. I'm Granger. Oh, what were you with your eyes? Sorry, ma'am. I didn't get here in time to save your furniture. Come on, tough guy. Get going. On your way. Shove off. Come on. Now get aboard. Come on. Come on now. Get going. Don't rub it in. With Jack in jail, we'll have a free hand. We've got nothing. That cab detective will be back here just as soon as he locks up his prisoner. What's the idea of running away? I could have captured that whole gang single-handed. Well, say, one time when I was in yes, Waco, I Texas... Yes, I know. You told me all about that. Now, listen. We can't run up the Holcombs unless we establish a motive. They beat us in court. You boys stand up pronto. This won't be worth a cent when Jack Granger starts talking in court. We've got to get that gold. I will, Ma. And they both mistook me for Jack. It was the only way to make Holcomb show their hand. It was a tough job. Don't tell me. I saw the girl. You get a posse from town, and if I played my cards right, those hombres will lead me to the gold. Right. Oh, Jack. Wait. I've got to tell you something. I'm not Jack. Well, one of the Holcombs must have tapped you on the head, boy. Ranger, 
His son Jack was killed two days ago. I am Tom Wade of the Protective Association. I was bringing you the news of Jack's death when you mistook me for him. So I played the part to bring your enemies into the open. Jack got your letter. He was on his way home to help you. Well, what are we going to do now? They're out for town at once, both of you. The gang will be here any minute. Vamos! Probably Jack tipped off where the mine is. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Now, you boys understand, I just need you as witnesses. When there's less than six men to take, I usually handle it alone. Have you been bashful like that all your life? Let's go, Wild Bill. anybody here. Bring me the dynamite and fuse.
Where's that rip for on son of yours? Your brother officer, Mr. Wade, followed the Holcombs to Yellow Horse Canyon. Well, for gosh sakes, show us to the Yellow Horse. Don't worry, I drilled that hole deep enough to give us plenty of free gold. We have to make a getaway. Reach for the ceiling, boys. Jack Granger. Sorry to have misled you, boys. Now stand steady while I take those guns. Granger's dead. I'm Tom Wade of the Protector. Your mind.
Thanks for coming, boys. Why, this must be the fellow you said you were. Jerry, you better go and bring Mrs. Holcomb in. What, me? Go after that old woman? Why, they, why, they, why they, you, you, you ought to be able to bring her in. Yeah, but they, do, you see, do you see? All right. How, how did you get here? Oh, I thought you'd be back. So oh. Lance bungled it after all, eh? Yep. You're wanted in town. Well, Lance never was much account. Let's go. I'm going to miss my new brother, Tom. Uh, suppose we drop the brother business. If I were properly persuaded, I might... Uh... When are you coming back? It won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> 